Hey everybody, welcome back here. I thought I would do a kind of a tour of my project I'm doing to make a kind of, I don't know what to call it. I don't want to say gamer corner or something. I, I'm not a big fan of that word. Uh, but anyways, so I've been slowly kind of changing the house a little bit since I it's now my house and kind of taking out some of the old kind of consoles I have. So if you watch my video a couple months ago that I, that I, um, that looks like it's really low res, uh, shadows. Um, but it's, uh, there used to be an aquarium here and the filtration system was down here. I had to remove the aquarium because I couldn't keep it up. And of course, like, why didn't she just pay somebody to do it? It's like the person that was doing it lives about 40 minutes away. So he didn't want to do that anymore. So he said one last thing of like, okay, yeah, I'll come up, take it out. No charge, but they took like everything. So what I'm left with is kind of a void thing here. And I've slowly been kind of putting my stuff out here. Like I have this, this is the Gran Turismo uh, 5 Nissan Collector's Edition. I finally took it out of the box. Um, and I got some Hot Wheels cars, a Warcraft 3 Thrall, some controllers that don't work, a Pokemon Go Pokeball, which is really hilarious as this doesn't support the latest uh, Bluetooth standard or something, which is I find really hilarious. Then some DSs and my um, my flight stick and a TV here. Now, the thing with that is that I have it connected to... I'm going to have it connected to this computer, which I'm going to be streaming all sorts of, like, maybe Twits or something, or just maybe not have much on it, too. So what I got here is I just turn this on, and it turns on this kind of rope LED, I guess. Which is kind of cool. I, I like it a lot. It, like, brings in a little bit. Pops it up. I could have done it from up here, but I just, it was such a pain in the ass. I feel like it would be a pain in the ass, and I just, I like it kind of shining on, on it over here. And then down below, I have games. So what we got here are just 360 games, PlayStation 3 games, Xbox One games, DS. I guess I don't have any 3DS physical games. GameCube and um, and a bunch of PC games here too. Now, th this was actually kind of easy to set up, and I'm, I'm liking the results too. But yeah, I was thinking about just you know making it all kind of cool in here and seeing all these games, and it, it's well lit. Um, I, I thought about doing strips of. Uh, I know it's not the best looking because it's painting the ass, kind of screwing these stuff in. Kind of doing like strip LEDs. But I really like the, the tubes, and it does really light it up real nice down here. But yeah. And I do have this. Now, if you don't know what this is, this is a Game Boy disc for... Um, Game Boy Advance disc for GameCube. These are like $200, I guess. But, yeah. And then with that... I'm also setting up this. So I got my GameCube, of course, Game Boy Player, and then also I have a LAN system too. So like I was really into GameCube at the time, and so I had it all set up. PlayStation 3, um, it works, works perfectly fine. I'm blown away. We, and then a stereo system, which I'm not gonna use. I'm just gonna use it as a splitter because it a splitter is like 40 bucks. And I was like, I'm just gonna use that. It has bunch of inputs on the back and I just plug it into my TV. I did buy a a Hyperkin GameCube N64 uh, Super Nintendo to HDMI uh, for that so I hope that comes in good. And uh, you did see this Xbox 360 and it's, a, it's an old model um, and I don't know if it works still. I actually just bought a new power supply which it seems to be broken. Um, so, got that going. It's 20 bucks from eBay. Not bad. And, yeah, that's... And I got my Switch there, too, which... I don't know. But, yeah, that's what I've been doing for the past... Uh, kind of my project. Um, trying to f get all this stuff going. I was still blown away that the PlayStation kind of booted up no problem. Uh, I've been... The funny thing is, is I, I do have a controller. And uh, it has a USB... USB Mini B is what they're called. Um, they don't make those anymore. 
So that's been fun. Um, but yeah, I even have a wave bird for the GameCube. And people would say, like, why don't you use your Wii for your for for it? Because it's, you know, instead of your GameCube, but also the GameCube, pretty cool. Like it even supported like tunneling software through uh, warp pipe. You could tunnel and play like Mario Kart online if you knew what you're doing and all that stuff. Uh, that was a fun experiment I did. Like I, I spent like a day kind of rewiring the house. So, uh, this was like back in like oh four or something when I was right out of high school. But yeah. Anyways, guys, uh, if you have any questions or anything, um, you know, shoot them in the comments, and I'll bring a progress report uh, probably in the next few weeks. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.